The Merc with a Mouth is getting a new badass lady to match wits with in Deadpool 2. I'm Sasha Pearl Raver, and this is Screen Junkies News. The people behind the YouTube channel That Hashtag Show are claiming to have some new casting information for Deadpool 2 that involves the extra lucky mutant Nina Thurman, who you may know as Domino. Here with me to go through the breakdown is Danielle Radford. Hello. 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 All right, so we're going to do this thing and try our very best not to scoff. <laughs> Ready? This is a casting breakdown. Female, all ethnicities, late 20s, early 30s, sexy, live, and athletic. She has a witty personality. Nina is a no-nonsense badass who rarely shows her feeling. Highly capable, supremely confident, and armored in, well, armor, and bulletproof sarcasm. But beneath her shell, she's still and vulnerable, and some soft, beating remnant of her humanity remains intact. In this scene... We need to see both sides. When she can't get what she wants with insults, blusters, and threats, we need to see some of that vulnerability. It's hard for her to let her guard down, and in the mercenary community she grew up in, showing compassion is almost embarrassing. We should feel like she's more comfortable killing Silverman than saying please. Yeah. So she's hot, but she doesn't know it. All right, so Silverman, <laughs> first and foremost, is a code name. We don't know who that character is, but it's either a new character that we haven't had introduced yet, or it's just somebody that they're trying to keep on the down low for the sides that they're giving out for the actresses. We also know that uh, both Sienna Miller and Gugu and Bathara have passed on the part, and now Carrie Washington is testing for the role. Now, when I said Carrie Washington, Daniel Radford said, Yes! <laughs> yep, pretty much. <laughs> That's what she said. Why is she a good fit for you? Um, I just, if you've ever seen, I mean, I'm huge into Scandal, so if you've ever seen her as Olivia Pope in Scandal, that's like... You're almost exactly describing the Olivia Pope character, except like less guns. Mm. Um, just she's she's very commanding. She gets what she wants. Um, she walks into a room and she owns it. But we also know that Carrie can do humor if they're deciding that they do want to make this character, um, you know, the sarcastic and funny that were that was mentioned in the breakdown. If you've ever saw like her Saturday Night Live, she could do great with humor. She's got great timing. I don't necessarily, you know, when I think um, superhero movie and like gun tricks and stuff I don't necessarily think Kerry Washington but I didn't necessarily think Scarlett Johansson for Black Widow either and she wound up being able to nail that so I think you put any any actor that's as good as Carrie in a room with someone who can train her to like make her body look like she can do all them flips and stuff I think it's gonna be great I'm I'm I really have her and Cable I never knew that I wanted to see uh <laughs> Carrie Washington and Kyle Chandler make out so bad but that's something that you need yeah now I know now I <laughs> I know I need it. Look, I love me some coach, but I have to say, when we're going through these breakdowns, Sienna Miller, I think, has physicality. I don't think she has humor. Gugu mm. Mbatha-Ra, I think, is a phenomenal actress, and she did a terrible, very short-lived show on NBC uh, that J.J. Abrams produced. I'm completely forgetting the name of it right now. It was basically like newlywed bounty hunt, or uh, it was sort of like his follow-up to Alias, but with a couple. Interesting. But I, when I think about this, Kerry Washington, I love as an actress, but I, if we're talking about somebody who we're going to pair with Ryan Reynolds, I want to see Kate McKinnon. I want to see Kate McKinnon bring all the comedy and the action. I think she's the most talented person in terms of comedic shops working right now. I also would love to see if we're going to do physicality. Come on, let's give her another. She needs another franchise. Throw Zoe Saldana another franchise because <laughs> she needs it. She doesn't just have to have Star Trek. She doesn't just have to have Guardians of the Galaxy. She can be in Deadpool too. Yeah, she doesn't I, have to just have Avatar. She no, can do everything. Right? Avatar 1 through 15. Put her in all the movies. I mean, all the movies. I also do completely enjoy both of the things that you just said. Oh, that's I will fun. say that if I can't get Carrie, I would love to see Kate McKinnon. Just, you know, thinking of that scene and like Ghostbusters where she licks the gun. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. No, I, I'm there with you. I got that. It's that, but she's licking Kyle Chandler's gun. By the way, I'm being told from behind the scenes, it was Undercovers. Undercovers was <laughs> yes. that show that lasted like three seconds that J.J. <laughs> yeah. Abrams created. But Google and Bathroom was really good on it. Now, here's my fear. Because there's been all these behind the scenes things with Ryan Reynolds having a lot of control on Deadpool 2, my fear is we end up getting a Blake Lively, a Blake Lively domino. Listen, 
I love me some Gossip Girl. But we saw what happened when they got together on Green Lantern. It, it, I don't know that anybody needs that. I don't think I need that. But I that's think my I'm, fear. Am I out of line for thinking that that could happen? I, if if that is a thing that Ryan wants to make happen, then that will be what happens. Mm. We don't know. And again, this is just respect. Like, there's no don't there's no rumors or anything that that is happening. Right. No. But this is just my fear talking. Yeah. Just my fear. <laughs> She's speaking from fear on I am Valentine's Day. <laughs> don't we all? <laughs> well, speaking of Lonely Hearts clubs, let's talk about the Assassins Club. So Domino uh, is part of this Assassins Club. How is it that she and Wade first get together? Well, she's um, she's very into like she's got that X-Force connection with Cable. Um, and she is a mercenary in the comics. She's been a part of like the six pack, also known as like the, the wild pack, um, works for money, things like that. So it would be very easy to place her in the mercenary club. Mm. Um, but she's also got that really strong X-Men connection through Cable and through X-Force. So could this could easily be like a way to, to test you know, like, hey, let's get some x force in here and see how that works out. Well, when you talk about X-Force, you talk about also her powers, and her powers are that she's basically just incredibly lucky. She yeah. can sort of alter uh, probabilities. Yeah, so the way it works with her is, like, she's not... It's not the same thing with the Scarlet Witch where she, like, does the, the, the arm things. That and was almost happens. the scary dance... <laughs> Almost from Suicide Squad. So close. So, yeah. <laughs> the little belly dance. But like, so with, with Domino, she just has a probability field that's always around her. And it's like, it's not so much like she can point to something and make something break. But if she is trying to do something, it's more likely that what she wants to happen will happen. But she still has to like, go for it. It isn't one of those things where like one day she wakes up and Ed McMahon's at her door and she's won money. And like, <laughs> unless like if she hadn't gone for the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes. Now, if she had gone for the publisher's clearinghouse sweepstakes, then she is waking up to a big fat check. That's how her powers work. I like those powers. Yeah. <laughs> Do you have any speculation as to who Silverman might be? I don't know. Part of me is almost wondering if, um, it, it could be a scene where he's just someone who she's trying to get something from. She's trying to get information from. Uh, because, I, I, you know, thinking this thing of where who she's likely to kill, she's not terribly likely to kill Cable. No. Cable's like her BFF, that's her bestie, her, her, her sometimes boo. Her sometimes boo, yeah. yeah. So I don't, I don't think that, and Cable's already been, you know, so I... I'm almost wondering if it's just a case of this is someone that she's threatening because she needs to get something from them in order to move the plot forward. So you talked about how Cable and Domino are sometimes booze, sometimes besties. They are definitely part of a team. Is this possibly setting up a spinoff? I think that would be great. Um, because they have, obviously, Cable and Deadpool in the comics, they have their own comic and they've had their own comic. Uh, I think a Cable and Domino comic, or D Cable and Domino movie would be fantastic. I if you can set that up kind of here. And I'm wondering if it'll be the kind of thing where they would keep that in the R-rated Deadpool universe, because you can, because they are, you know, pow, pow, shooty, shooty people, mm -hmm. rather than have it be more of the PG-13 X-Men and X-Force stuff. And you think that X-Force is going to be the primary way that they're sort of brought into this? Where do you see Cable and Domino fitting into the Deadpool 2 story? Um... That is going to be interesting. And I'm wondering if it is going to be a thing where, you know, they're both, you know, doing their mercenary stuff and they wind up um, crossing paths that way. Is it going to be a case where we're going to see more of Deadpool interacting with X-Men and X-Force and X-People? And that could be because a lot of what happened with Deadpool, especially in the early comics, was he would cross paths with X people because they would be like, you know, you're too good for this. Don't be a mercenary. We're trying to save you. And he'd be like, nah. So <laughs> I almost, so is it going to be that kind of thing? And him and Cable have such a great dynamic in their comics of Cable being that very like straight laced, you know, I'm from the future, but kind of not really part of me's metal. I'm sad all the time. And Deadpool's very, you know, happy and jokey. And um, the way that they interplay with each other is always great. 
Mm, but will the interplay between Cable and Domino be great? Mm. That is the question. And we want to know, who do you want to see? Who's your ideal Domino? Let us know in the comments below. You can always tweet us at SJ News. Thanks for watching. Make sure to click here for more internet and subscribe to Screen Junkies News.